Hi guys, welcome to this week's mobility routine. Something a little bit different this week and it's gonna be the FMS. So you would have heard of the FMS before, it's called the functional movement screen. The functional movement screen is gonna double this week as our mobility regime. Uh, but I just wanted everyone to do it so that um, we've got a reliable objective measure that we can reassess down the track to monitor change. So by including it as the mobility routine, I'm kind of forcing everyone to, to do it. Um, and, and to be honest, there's seven exercises and we're moving every body part. So I feel like it is just a good mobility routine anyway. So uh, anyway, there's seven exercises um, in the routine and we rate each exercise out of three. So um, by the end of the routine, you should have a score out of 21. Now, if, it's, if you're 21 out of 21, then you're going really well. Um, you, don't have much, you don't have any pain. Um, you're moving all your body parts really well with great control, great strength, um, and you're a well-rounded athlete. Uh, if you're below 14, um, it's suggested, without um, there being uh, a huge amount of literature backing this up, but you know, some, some uh, studies have suggested that if you're below 14 on the FMS, uh, you're more likely to get injured. And, you know, this regime, you know, just sort of really shows the areas where you need to work on and, and then it's great to go, oh, okay, well, I, I, I know I've got, I'm not got very good flexibility around my shoulders or um, I'm struggling with my squat, my lunge, uh, or my core balancing re regime. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it just sort of uh, specifically uh, targets the functional uh, dysfunction that you, you have. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy it. Anyway, without further ado, I've been chatting for two minutes, let's get started. So what we need is a dowel uh, like this, um, a, a bit of a plank of wood that you can balance on. So this is just a, a, a piece of fencing. Uh, I'm pretty fortunate to have. Uh, I've got a couple of chairs that I can just tie a TheraBand between for hurdles. I've got a foam roller to help with measuring, uh, and that's it, and just yourself. Okay, so let's start with the first exercise. The first exercise is a squat, okay? So if you watch me, it's trying to keep the arms over your head, squat right down, and then come back up. Now, if you've got too much pain in your knees and you can't do this one, then you're a zero. Uh, if you watch me, my heels lift up, so I'm certainly not a three, because I can't do this without keeping my heels down for the stiff ankles, okay? So you can go right down and then right back up. So let's do five of these, so that's two. Slowly down. Three. Four, what I'm good at, rather than my ankles being really a bit too stiff and, and, and stuffing me up with this one, is I'm good at keeping my um, shoulders uh, over my head and in line with my ears and so they're not sort of too stiff and they're going forward and I'm good at keeping my back flat so I'm not sort of hunching my back as I do a squat so keeping my back flat yeah right down and then right back up and have no pain in the knees okay last one okay so on that rating scale a zero is if you have got too much pain to complete it so you'd be a zero you'd be a uh, one if you couldn't complete it, so um, like you kept falling over um, and you just couldn't do a squat. So most people in this program can do a squat, a double leg squat. We've been practicing that. Um, so I can't see many people um, registering themselves a zero or one for this task. Uh, I think most people will probably be a two um, or a three, and I'm a two. Uh, a three would be if you um, nailed everything, so you had your, your hands you know, um, in line with your ears direct and not falling forward. Your back was perfectly uh, straight, um, uh, yeah, for the whole squat and it wasn't rounding, yep. And uh, your heels were on the ground and uh, you were able to do it without falling over and a good five of them really well and really deeply uh, with no pain. Okay, so I'm a two, you keep score, so maybe get a pen and a pad and write it down. So the next one is the inline lunge. So once again, get the dowel along, along your back this time. Uh, and then now uh, have one foot um, at the back, one foot at the front, okay? 
and we're going to be comparing sides with this one. Try to tap your knee to the ground or to the uh, mountain beam and then come back up. I'm going to try to do five on each side. I'm a little bit shaky and wobbly, but otherwise I'm keeping pretty good form. I know this is my weaker side, so two. So straight away I probably won't be at three because uh, with this side I can feel I'm all over the shot. sides and I was compensating a lot with my left leg at the front, I was wobbling with the right leg at the front, I felt strong. Um, I, I wasn't perfect, I wasn't a three, so I was a two. Um, and then once again, you'd be a zero if you had too much pain to complete it, a one if you couldn't do five without falling off, okay? So keep your score, I've got two and two. Um, I wonder what you guys have back home. All right, so now um, the hurdle step, okay? So this is where you get... Uh, chairs and tie something between the chairs like a theraband or a rope at knee height. So I've got it all set up like so. Now with this one it's about knee height for me. Now this is the hurdle step so you go down over your head slowly lifting that leg up tap the toes Clear the hurdle and back in. So I'm doing my good leg first. Yep. Watch for compensatory strategies, like whether you're sort of leaning all over the side, you're falling over. Yep. This is my good side. Three. Tap. Four. If anything, my ankle's moving a fair bit, so that's just once again reflecting my ankle stability, uh, ankle uh, stiffness, um, and uh, I can't sort of uh, dorsiflex and tuck them away enough. I have to sort of turn them in to, to clear to clear the hurdle. Uh, all right, so on this left side, balancing, tap, and back over. Yep, and try to do five in a row without falling over. I'm going to try to do five without falling over um, to get past a one. If you can't do it, then you're a one today. Three. And see how I'm sort of, this is my trait where I sort of do that funny trunk list, whereas on the right side I feel, you know, all balanced and straight. With this side I sort of feel like that. So I've really got to concentrate on that and I would say that that's once again um, and see if it's a bit more shaky. Um, stopping me from being a three. Last one, stretch those hips. Bit of hurdles, good for hip mobility. And got that funny sort of ankle twist for me. So uh, I would rate myself there, um, uh, not a three, uh, but a two. Um, I can do the task without falling over. Five on each leg, five toe taps over the hurdle, left and right, uh, with compensation. So. Differences between side, right side once again feels really strong, left side feels a bit funny. Ankles doing that funny sort of turn in to try to clear the hurdle because I can't sort of pull it back enough to get it out of the way. Uh, so yeah, if you've got too much pain to do that, you're a zero. If you fell over and you couldn't do the five in a row, 
Uh, yeah, you're a one. Uh, you did it perfectly, you're a three. So another two for me. So that's three twos for me. Okay, so then now the active straight leg raise. Uh, so we'll get those chairs out of the way. Now with this one, the uh, foam roller is just gonna be about there. So I've got it lined up perfectly with that uh, cupboard. Now it's gonna be in the middle of your thigh. So position that line to be middle of your thigh you know, as you lie down. Now this is called the active straight leg raise. So uh, try to lift that leg up and try to clear it past the foam roller. And I can just do it. You can see there's a bit of white gap between my heel and the foam roller, but that was a lot of effort. So I can just do it and I can hold it there. Now the other side, oh, I can just do it, but that was a lot of effort and that was tighter. Um, my knee was a little bit more bent uh, compared to my right side where I felt like I did it a lot easier. Uh, yep, so can do it. We'll give myself a two because I can do it and I can get my foot clear of that blue line on the good side, on my head side of that blue line, but it is hard. So now try to do it with your hands firmly pressed into the ground, see if it helps. Yep. Yep. And let's do three more each side. Yep. And sometimes this helps a bit because it helps use your hip flexors and core a bit more, stabilizes them, helps them sort of, so then this, this sort of, um, you know, shows if there's a little bit of weakness through the hip flexors um, or core, um, if that's the limiting factor, if, you, if you've got a huge difference. I don't have that much difference, so I'd still say mine is, is very much stiffness. Yeah, but yeah, I'd give myself a two there. Um, yeah, I don't think many people would be uh, a zero there. I think you can all lift your legs up <laughs> off the ground. Um, uh, yeah, if you want to be um, uh, unable to because of pain, um, but um, yeah, you'd be a, a one if you couldn't get it on the, on the good side of that blue line um, when, when it's in line with your mid thigh when you're lying down. So that'd be a one. Uh, three, if you could do it perfectly and, and it felt pretty even, um, flexibility, uh, three hamstrings is, is not an issue. So another two for me. Okay. Uh, so now um, uh, let's do shoulder mobility and uh, uh, what I want everyone to do now is uh, yeah, hold the dowel um, like so and see if you can tap your fingers and get your fingers behind your back. So I can just do it there, um, that feels comfortable. If I try the other side. Um, I can just, just touch my, my fingers, but geez, that was hard. Like that felt really hard for me um, to, to do it um, when my right leg, uh, right arm is, is at the bottom. Um, so I, I definitely aren't a three. It wasn't easy on, on, on that side. Um, and there was definitely a just difference and I had to really compensate and and truly, really work at it to try to get get that. Um, just because this is, um, this isn't in the true sense of the functional movement screen, but just because this is a mobility um, uh, routine for us uh, for this week, I do wanna just get um, a little bit of treatment to see if you guys can improve that. So just, uh, yeah, lying on the foam roller because it's handy and just try to do a bit of extension, yep, through that mid back, yep. Yep, support those, that head with the shoulders. Yep, just push through that mid back. That's it, yep. And uh, I really would love to see everyone's results on the Facebook group, uh, the private Facebook group. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see where you're at and then just a date. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, put a group message up uh, with everyone's scores and, and then it'd be great just to revisit the scores. Um, you know, we've done a few of these now um, this year, but it's good to have a few different ones because um, some will really um, reverberate with 
um, others um, more, more than, um, uh, yeah, not all of them will reverberate with everyone, I guess. Um, so sometimes they will really go, oh, I can really see a, a deficit there, and so then you can work on it. Um, yeah, all right, so done a little bit of um, rolling through the mid back, and, and now I just want you to lie um, like so, and then just practice, uh, yeah, um, opening your chest like so, and then, yeah, opening your chest like so. That's it. Yep. Open. Yep. Yep. Open. Good. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. This isn't part of the functional movement screen, remember. I just want to reassess to see if someone can get a three when maybe they were a two just then. Because I reckon I'm not far off. It's the competitive side in me. <laughs> okay, so then now, um, yeah, just do the thread the needle. Okay, yep, open up. Open up. Good. 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 And other side. Thread. And up. Thread. And up. Thread. And up. Two more. Good. Okay. Now line up side. Stretch forward. And rotate back. Stretch forward. And rotate back. Yep. Stretch forward. And rotate back. Two more. Stretch forward. And rotate back. Last one. Stretch forward. And rotate back. Okay. Other side. Same exercise. Stretch forward. Knees bent. And rotate back. Yep. Stretch forward. Forward and rotate back. Stretch forward and rotate back. Stretch forward and rotate back. Good. Okay, lying on your tummy and let's do scorpions. Okay. So that's it. Just 10 of them. Give yourself a bit more room. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, okay, and then now shoulder rolls, so freestyle, just for ten. Yep, I'm backwards. Stretches. Yep, just sitting on your hand. Yep, stretching your left ear, the left shoulder. And then now looking down. No to armpit. Good. Now looking up. Okay. And then now ear to arm shoulder. Good. And now looking down. Now looking up. Good, okay. And then now, just knees to side, side to side. Just loosen that lower back. Okay, 
Okay, and then knee, knee, so stretch. Knee under you. Otherwise, hug your knee to your shoulder, it's on your back if you need to too sore for this one. This still isn't the functional movement scale, it's just gonna recess those two flexibility ones to see if they're any better. See if someone can get a three, if there are two. Good, yep, other side. Yep. Good, okay, and now at the wall, you've done this one before, just a while ago, so in a ball, and then try to straighten your knee, yep, and then back. In a ball, try to straighten your knee, and then back. In a ball, try to straighten your knee, back, three more. Good, and then the other side, same exercise. In a ball, try to straighten that left knee or the other knee. Yeah, so in a ball, curl yourself, hug your head to your uh, chest and try to straighten that top leg and then bend. Yeah, foot on the wall. Good. Three more. Good, okay, so now let's get that foam roller in line with the middle, there you go, so middle of your thigh, let's redo the functional movements go, so in line with the middle of my thigh, Oh, the middle of my thigh. Okay, and then that side's still good. Difficult. Just. Still hard for me. Knee still having to bend on both sides and really having to force it. Hands down. Just. Okay, so still a two for that one. Uh, hopefully someone is able to do it a bit easier. Um, yep, and then now, yep, just reach in, touching the fingers, do that really easily. Yep, and then this side. Still find it hard. Really have to, really have to search uh, for that other hand can just get my thumb. So no difference, so still a two. Oh, well, there's an excuse to do a few extra stretches. Okay, so now, um, so that's the rotary stability, um, or, or the yeah, rot rotary range of move, shoulder, shoulder mobility um, test, um, and the hamstring test. We've done the deep squat, the inline lunge, and the hurdle step, we've got two more, and uh, they are, the trunk stability push-ups and the rotary stability uh, four-point kneel. Um, so, so far I haven't got any threes, I've just been twos uh, the whole way through. Um, so yeah, for the trunk stability push-up, I think I'll be a three. So put your hands near your ears, um, put your toes on the ground and then try to push up and see if you're a nice straight line from toes all the way to shoulders and then slowly push down and don't sink in the middle like that and can you get off the ground and can you do it when your um, hands are up near your ears not, not down here hands close in near your ears push through your toes and up and slowly down with control so that's a three for me um, if you're too bowed in the middle um, then it's a two um, if you can still do it if you can't do it um, uh, you're a one. If you've got too much pain to do it, you're a zero. Okay, so yeah, let's just do a few more. Um, okay, so if you can do it, let's try to do three more. 
Yep. If you can't do it, then do a knee, knee push-ups. Yep. One more. Nice. Okay. So the two for me, or three for me, uh, first three uh, of the functional movement scale. Last one is uh, four point kneeling. So hand, hand under the shoulders, knees under hips, and see if you can do a nice straight line, tap and through, and see if you can do a good 10 of these. Three, four, nice and straight, don't fall over, no twist in. Seven, eight, this is testing that core stability, <clears throat> sort of like the push up as well. Nine, Ten, okay, other side. Yeah. One, two, feels just as easy for me. Uh, so I'm going to give myself a three for this one. See if you can do it without falling over. And you can do ten on each side. Alternate arm and leg. And if you can do that, uh, then um, you have three. If you're doing it and you're finding it a bit harder on one side compared to the other, you have two. If you keep falling over, you can't actually do it, then you're a one. You've got too much pain, zero. Good. Okay, now harder one. So uh, can we now do the same side? Yep. Same side. Yep. Same side, just five. Same side. Same side, okay. Now I try to do the same side. Whoop. Same side. Try to do five without falling. Yep. Okay. So I did five on each side. I could do it. I'm a three for that one. If you kept falling. Um, you two, uh, um, uh, I mean, if you, if you kept wobbling, you're two, if you fell and you couldn't complete it, um, you know, both, all those variations, so, um, the alternate arms and the same side arms, um, and you couldn't complete it, um, yeah, a one, okay, too much pain, zero, so, got another three for that one, uh, so, yeah, my, my total score was 15, uh, oh no, sorry, uh, 16 out of 21, um, uh, yeah, because, uh, let's just redo that, so, yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yeah, 16, um, and, yeah, so, anyone who's, uh, yeah, under 14, um, is at increased risk of injury, so it's a good one to remember. Good one to redo down the track and see if we've improved. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that routine for this week. I know it was a little bit different, um, but yeah, um, it's it's worth knowing that's for sure. And I think um, I'd like to see everyone you know publish some scores on the Facebook group and and then we can sort of uh, use that as a, a bit of an objective measure to measure change and and also target uh, weaknesses um, that you you found um, in it. So. Even if, if, if someone posts uh, the, one of those seven exercises, the one that they found the hardest, um, that'd be fantastic for the group. And it'd be great for me to see because then we can sort of have a video and, and watch, watch change over time. So if you've got time, great. Anyway, enough from me. Um, hope you're going well. Um, and I uh, hope everyone's well. All right, good work, guys.